Well, uh, the incident that uh, happened that involved the INEC uh, staff, regrettably, INEC was not the target. We had the intels that uh, the Correctional Center facility in Okiwe was to be attacked by bandits. And we called their conversation and uh, we fortified the Correctional Center facility. And uh, the truth to it, the bandit approaching Okiwe saw how fortified the place was and then I tried to escape through Ihitu Boma and they ran into INEC people where they were doing continuous voter registration and out of that anger and frustration attacked them. Uh, you must have heard that yesterday uh, two of the bandits have been arrested and are helping the Nigerian police in Mosta Command now to uh, do a very thorough investigation. And until that is done, I may not speak much on that. Then on the issue of uh, the sponsoring of banditry, and he has said if it is APC. I want us to look at uh, the issue of banditry in Nigeria holistically. If anybody is telling you that government is in power is sponsoring banditry, how and why? How can anybody even think of a government sponsoring banditry in a country that they are in charge. If that is correct, I assume it, but not conceding to you. How many states governed by opposition parties are under the kind of attack that we get from Kaduna every day, that we get from Imo State every day, that we get from a boy state? So if we are the ones, why are we attacking our own states? Why are we going to be enemies and opposition to our, our own government? Among those that have been killed and houses that were attacked, how many of those buildings belong to the opposition party? Am I supposed to be attacking and burning down my own house? Or do you think a governor will be, will be there to burn down his own house? Or the cardinal governor will be there to burn down facilities in his government? So we should be able to ask questions, not only as media practitioners, as Nigerian citizens. I just call, use this medium to call on Nigerian politicians to play politics without bitterness and stop uh, letting blood here and there in the name of uh, looking for power. If I am no longer in doubt as to who are the sponsors of banditry in Nigeria, those who want to make Nigeria ungovernable, cannot be the people governing Nigeria currently. After all, what, we don't have an election this year. Elections will start by next year. So for complete to throughout this year, APC government is in power and will not want or encourage any disruption. So I think that we should reason and begin to think better than we are currently doing. Nigerians should be more patriotic. Our national interest should be uppermost in our mind. I just told you what I told you. The people wanted to attack uh, correctional center facilities. They were not able to do that. Of course, you know, Mr. President, the chief security officer in the country. These are information I'm sure he already knows. But at least courtesy demands that having seen him for this commissioning program, I should use the opportunity also to discuss the challenges I have in governance. Of course, we are doing everything possible to ensure the situation is controlled and contained. Currently, we are on top of the situation I told you. Government is not sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, of course, uh, the matter has been referred to security agencies. Of course, you know that uh, uh, we must be law-abiding citizens. 
and a government that believes in the rule of law will do things in consistent with due process. So we have given the available information we have to security agencies, and I'm confident they will work with the information we've given to them. What do you mean by entering government when you have a permanent government? <laughs> Are you seen a landlord praying to be a tenant before? No landlord wants to be a tenant. Every landlord wants to build more houses and own more homes. So I don't think, uh, I didn't hear him say that, but if it is what he said. <laughs> oh, after May, oh, after May 29th. No. By May 29th, if there is no elected government, our constitution has not provided for an interregnum. It shouldn't give a gap. Otherwise, you are creating room for anarchy. And what will be the process for selecting the interim government? Because after May 29th, the president may not have constitutional powers to function as a president anymore. So I don't think we will decide to abandon our constitution. Constitution is like a Bible. And that is, for some of us who are Christians, the Bible is the manager of our faith. So the Constitution should be the instrument guiding our actions as a country. So, but if there is any opinion that you think that is worthy to be conversed, superior to what is currently in the Nigerian Constitution, such opinion should be taken to the National Assembly, and then they will through due process amend our Constitution to factor in such opinion.